Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Jennifer Marie, where I teach you how to become a work from home freelancer. Today I'm excited to show you how you can easily edit and create videos using Movavi Video Editor. You can use this software on your Windows or Mac computer to create videos for your social media, for YouTube, or even for potential clients. And what I love about this software is it's so easy to use and so fast as well. It's also extremely affordable. A one-year subscription is the same price as many other software's monthly subscription. And for my subscribers, you can get a free seven-day trial using the link in the description below or in the pinned comment. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you the basics of video editing. We're going to create a demo project together. There's a built-in AI noise removal tool. You can also use the AI motion tracking tool to map anything in a video, and this can help you create some awesome effects for your videos. There's also a new blade tool to make quick cuts, so editing is even easier. And there are so many different overlay effects you can use with 13 different blending modes to choose from. So I'm going to demonstrate all of these features for you and also show you how to quickly edit and put together a video yourself. So let's get into it. Okay, so here we have the Movavi video editor. And the first thing we have to do is you can click file and then create new project. And from here, you're just going to add your media. So click add files and you can add pictures or music or any video files you want to work with and click open. So for this demo, we're going to do like a travel vlog style video or promo. So how this works is you edit by adding footage from up here onto the timeline down here. And we have different tracks. So the first thing we're going to do is let's add this video here. And you're just going to drag it here on the second track, which is the video track. So you can go ahead and add multiple videos by just clicking and dragging and they will snap together. Just click and drag, it's super simple. So let's say you want to add a title. At the side here, just click on titles. And there are so many titles to choose from. And if you want to see the free ones you can choose from, just click here on free. And these are the ones that are included with your purchase or subscription of Movavi. So I really like this one here that says messages. We're going to click and again to add it, just drag it on the top track here. So with titles, you can drag and position them wherever you want. And if we press play, you can see that this is what it will look like here. So to change any of the text within the title, just double click on it. And this one's quite cool. It's like a little conversation. So for our travel video, I'm just going to change the names and to change the text, just double click. And you can either click up here and change it up here or over here in the text box and change the font and everything as well. So if you want to change the length of the title, just hover your mouse over the end and you can click and adjust the length as well. And to preview your clip or your video, this is called the playhead. Let's drag it to the beginning and you can press the space bar or press play to preview. Okay, so now we've added a little title. Now I want to show you how you can add an effect to the clip. So Let's click here where it says effects and you can add filters, overlay effects or LUTs. I want to add this vintage effect to this first clip here. So I'm just going to click and drag it on top of the clip to give it this cool vintage sort of look. So now I want to show you the blade tool. So when you want to split a clip into different sections, you can drag your playhead, click on the clip and then click the split button. But if you want to make many different cuts within a clip, an easier way to do it is use the new blade tool. So when you click on that tool, you can just very easily click where you want to split the clip. And you can do that across all your different clips without having to select them. And that just makes it really easy if you want to add special effects to particular clips or trim sections out. So when you're done using the blade tool, just click it again and it will go back to your standard mode. So from here, let's say I want to click on this clip here and speed it up. I can double click on it and increase the speed and that way it will only affect this part of the clip and not the other. And to delete this gap, just click on it and press delete and it will push everything together. And to view any effects you've added to each clip, just click on it, click Applied Effects, and then you can see here we've added the speed to this and the vintage 
effect and you can unclick it to disable it or click the X. So now I want to show you the new AI motion tracking tool and this one is really cool. Let's say I want to have an icon and I want it to follow the car as the car is moving. So you can add your own PNG file right here in your project files or you can click here on stickers and I'm going to look at the free stickers and there are so many different ones you can use. Let's say I want to use this like icon here. I'm going to click it and drag it and it will appear on the title track. Now from here, you can just adjust it where you want it. If you click on the top circle, you can rotate it and then drag it to where you want it to begin and end. So right now, if I press play, it's quite boring. It just stays there and it doesn't move. So I want it to be more dynamic and move as the car is moving. So what we can do is double click on the sticker or the element that you want to track. Click here on motion tracking. And right here, we have this square that will pop up. You're going to position it around the object you want to track. So I'm just going to sort of position it around this mirror here and then click on artificial intelligence and then click track. And it tracks the motion so quickly. I have used other programs that took ages to track. So it's done and to preview it, let's press play to preview. And you can see that the heart is moving alongside the mirror and it just gives it a cool effect. So you can do this with your logo, with text, with another video and just make your videos that much cooler. And now I want to show you some of the overlay effects you can use. So I'm going to use the blade tool to make some splits in this clip. And now I'm going to click on the effects tab and click here on overlay effects. So there are many different effects you can use that you can purchase from the effects store, but there are also a lot of free effects as well. So if you click here on free, you can see all these different effects that you can try out. So you can preview the effects by clicking on it and it will show you the preview here. And to add the effect to your clip, just click and drag and it will add it instantly. So let's press play to preview. And another thing that's really cool is there are 13 different blending modes. So let's say for example, I've added this noise effect to this clip. I can make adjustments by double clicking on the clip and here go to applied effects and you can see I've added the noise frequent. So right now I can click on blending mode and I can play around with this and try all sorts of different blending modes to see which one I like the most. And you can adjust this slider here to adjust the intensity of the effect. And this is cool because it just gives you so much more customization so you get exactly the look that you're going for. So now I want to show you the awesome AI noise removal tool that's included with this. I'm going to add this little clip here that already has some audio and just click on it and drag it. And you can see here that this video already has audio. So let's preview the audio and you're going to hear uh, how poor the audio sounds. Get the best travel tips for budget-friendly explorers. So you can hear there's all this background noise at the beginning. Previously, I would take these clips and edit the audio in another software and then re-import it into my video editor. But what's awesome about this new tool, I just have to click on the clip that needs audio enhancement. And then right here, where it says more tools, at the top, click on audio and we can click here on noise removal and you can see it has AI noise removal that will automatically delete all unwanted sounds. So just click apply and it will apply that to this clip and it does it so quickly as well. Get the best travel tips for budget-friendly explorers. And you can see that it just removed all of that background noise instantly. Another thing you can do from this tab is click here on video and you can add all sorts of cool color adjustments. So for example, I want to add this hot sun preset. I can click on it, right click, apply to selected clips. Or you can click here on manual mode 
and you can manually adjust the brightness or the contrast, the saturation, or whatever you want. So now let's go back to titles, and let's say at the end of my video, I want to encourage people to subscribe to my channel. There's this free title, which is this little Social Networks 3. I'm going to click and add that. You can adjust the length as well. And I'm just going to double click to change the text. You can do that over here as well and put your handle. So let's say this is a travel blog called Pocket Journeys. You can adjust the size as well of the text and click and drag over here to adjust the positioning as well. Get the best travel tips for budget-friendly explorers. Follow us at Pocket Journeys. And let's say you want to add a nice music track as well. What we can do is go here to music. There are many different music tracks that you can purchase, but you can also just click on the free tab and just click and drag it. And let's zoom out on our timeline. And once again, we can click, press the split button, delete the excess, and we can just drag this so it ends when our clip ends. And we can also adjust the volume by clicking on the track and adjusting the volume down, adding a fade out by pressing this bar here and a fade in. And at the end of our track, because I had this little voiceover, you don't want the music to overpower the voiceover. So what we can do is right click on the audio track, select add volume point and do that a couple times and then drag the second one down so that when we're playing this, the volume will be softer when the voiceover is playing. And if there's a particular effect that you're looking for, you can go to the effects store and you can see they have all sorts of different packs you can use. We've got the e-learning pack, the handy pack, travel pack, and if you click on pack info, these packs that you can purchase will include backgrounds, stickers, titles, and transitions if there's a particular look that you're going for or a particular niche. So once you're done your video, all you have to do is click export and then you can choose how you want to export it. So MP4, you can choose the quality if you want it to be good or high and then just click start. And it exports the video so quickly compared to other software that I have used. I can't believe how fast this is. So now let's preview the video we created with Movavi. Get the best travel tips for budget-friendly explorers. Follow us at Pocket Journeys. So I really encourage you guys to check out Movavi. You're going to love how easy it is to use and how fast it is to use as well. There are so many awesome options, especially the AI tools, to just make video editing so much easier and a lot of fun. Once again, there's a seven day free trial if you click on the link in the description below. And for the first 20 people who decide to purchase Movavi by using my link, you'll also get a 20% discount. And this is the discount code right here that you can use. And the first 20 people who purchase through my link will also receive a set of my channel pack effects. And this is really awesome if you want to start your own YouTube channel or promote your social media. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments section and I look forward to seeing you in my next tutorial.